Hello dear students, how are you today? Let's start our lesson. Unit 8, Natural Disasters. Lesson number 4, The Same Injuries. In today's lesson, learners will learn vocabulary of injuries. Listen to people talking about dangerous jobs. Listen for general meaning and specific details. Illness now and injury. The video. A vocabulary presentation from Lantern Fish ESL. A cough. What's wrong with her? She has a cough. A runny nose. What's wrong with her? She has a runny nose. A sore throat. What's wrong with him? He has a sore throat. A fever. What's wrong with her? She has a fever. She has a temperature. A rash. What's wrong with him? He has a rash. A bump. What's wrong with him? He has a bump. A bruise. What's wrong with her? She has a bruise. A black eye. What's wrong with him? He has a black eye. A headache. What's wrong with her? She has a headache. A stomach ache. What's wrong with him? He has a stomach ache. A toothache. What's wrong with him? He has a toothache. Maybe he has a cavity. A cut. What's wrong with her? She has a cut. A scrape. What's wrong with her? She has a scrape. A blister. What's wrong with him? He has a blister. A nosebleed. What's wrong with her? She has a nosebleed. She has a bloody nose. A broken leg. What's wrong with him? He has a broken leg. His leg is broken. A burn. What's wrong with him? He has a burn. A sunburn. What's wrong with him? He has a sunburn. The flu. What's wrong with him? He has the flu. A cold. What's wrong with her? She has a cold. An ear infection. What's wrong with him? He has an ear infection. An allergy. What's wrong with him? He has an allergy. He is allergic to pollen. A bee sting. What's wrong with her? She has a bee sting. She was stung by a bee. A mosquito bite. What's wrong with him? He has a mosquito bite. He is itchy. Illness and injury. Okay, now answer the questions. What is the video about? Video natural. Yes, it's about illness and injuries. The theme of the lesson is injuries. Answer the questions. Have you ever had any injuries? What injuries do people sometimes get at work? What jobs are dangerous and why? Now let's introduce with new words. Repeat after me. Cut. Cut. Burn. Burn. Break. Bruise. Bite. Sprain. Injure. Injure. Okay. Now write down these words into your vocabularies. Осы сөздерді сөздікке жазып аламыз. Exercise 1. Complete the table. Кестені толықтыр. Verb. Бірінші қатарда етістіктер. The second column. Past possible and or adjective. Екінші қатарда сынесім не болмаса. Етістіктің үшінші формасы. Яғни етістіктің өткен шақтағы есімше формасы. Past possible деп отқанымыз. And the third column is noun. Үшінші қатар зат есім. For example, cut, cut, a cut, kisu, kiskin, kisik. Now complete the table. 
you have some time to do this task. Next task, exercise two, choose the correct words. He's been in the sun and he's burnt or injured his nose. What is the right answer? The right answer is burnt. Now, choose the correct words. Doğru söz yerde tandayımız. I'll give you three minutes to do this task. Exercise three. Look at the photos from A to D and match them with the jobs from one to four in the program guide. Siz yerde söz yer berilgen, venomologist, volcanologist, fisherman and farmer. Osa söz yerde A, B, C, D suret yerimin sekiz tindiremiz. Now match please. Next, exercise four. Write true or false. For example, volcanologists know a lot about volcanoes. Volcanologists know a lot about volcanoes. Volcanoes de botkanımız vulkandar. Mm -hmm. It's true, yes? Track 3.12 Vocabulary and Listening Exercises 4 and 5 And we welcome Leo Williams. Leo has traveled to four different places around the USA talking to people with dangerous jobs. Leo, where did you start? I started in Hawaii where I met a volcanologist called Ted Amber. A volcanologist, by the way, is a person who studies volcanoes. OK. And Ted, who has studied volcanoes all over the world, was actually very near a volcano when it erupted. Not a good place to be. No. With rocks and lava flying everywhere, he was lucky to escape with just a bruised leg and some burns. <laughs> he was lucky. Well, really, he was unlucky. Volcanoes don't erupt very often. That's true. Uh, where else did you go? Well, in Texas, I met a venomologist called Sasha Jacobs. A venomologist studies venom, I suppose. Yes, Sasha studies the venom of snakes and insects. And has a snake ever bitten Sasha? She's had one or two bites, but she knows about snakes. So she wasn't really worried. She hasn't had many accidents. It's fishermen and farmers who have most accidents because they operate dangerous machines. Hmm. And of those two jobs, which is worst? Well, looking at the numbers, fishing is the most dangerous job. They've got machinery and there's also the problem of the weather at sea. In Alaska, I went out with a fisherman called Dan Murphy. And how was it? In the Arctic in winter, it's cold, dark and very dangerous. This season, Dan has broken his toe and cut his arms. And what about farmers? Why is farming dangerous? I didn't realise that farming was dangerous until I met Jill Brown. Jill works on a farm in Montana. The farms are huge in Montana, so they use very big machines to cut and collect the wheat. Farmers must be very careful because the machines can cut and injure you quite badly. Mm. Well, thank you for coming in today, Leo. Next week, we'll be talking... OK, the first sentence is Volcanologists know a lot about volcanoes. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. What about next answers? Track 3.12 Vocabulary and Listening Exercises 4 and 5 And we welcome Leo Williams. Leo has travelled to four different places around the USA 
talking to people with dangerous jobs. Leo, where did you start? I started in Hawaii, where I met a volcanologist called Ted Amber. A volcanologist, by the way, is a person who studies volcanoes. OK. And Ted, who has studied volcanoes all over the world, was actually very near a volcano when it erupted. Not a good place to be. No, with rocks and lava flying everywhere, he was lucky to escape with just a bruised leg and some burns. <laughs> he was lucky. Well, really, he was unlucky. Volcanoes don't erupt very often. That's true. Uh, where else did you go? Well, in Texas, I met a venomologist called Sasha Jacobs. A venomologist studies venom, I suppose. Yes, Sasha studies the venom of snakes and insects. And has a snake ever bitten Sasha? She's had one or two bites, but she knows about snakes, so she wasn't really worried. She hasn't had many accidents. It's fishermen and farmers who have most accidents because they operate dangerous machines. Hmm. And of those two jobs, which is worst? Well, looking at the numbers, fishing is the most dangerous job. They've got machinery, and there's also the problem of the weather at sea. In Alaska, I went out with a fisherman called Dan Murphy. And how was it? In the Arctic in winter, it's cold, dark and very dangerous. This season, Dan has broken his toe and cut his arms. And what about farmers? Why is farming dangerous? I didn't realise that farming was dangerous until I met Jill Brown. Jill works on a farm in Montana. The farms are huge in Montana, so they use very big machines to cut and collect the wheat. Farmers must be very careful because the machines can cut and injure you quite badly. Hmm. Well, thank you for coming in today, Leo. Next week, we'll be talking... Okay, feedback. Kere balance. Make up sentences using these words. Now, sözler kullanıp söylemler kuranız. Arm, foot, hand, head, leg, nose. For example, I've broken my leg. Osu sözler kullanıp present perfect şağında söylemler kurayımız. Thank you for your attention. Our lesson is over. Goodbye.